Hi everyone, um, what I want to do today is um, a part review and a part kind of instruction video on the brush guard. Now this probably isn't the first video you're watching on the brush guard, so you know the basic instructions, but I haven't yet seen a video that shows them on um, elf brushes or eyes, lips, face brushes. Um, and when I, these are the only brushes I have because I love elf. Um, and I didn't know which sizes to buy um, for my brushes. Um, so what I did is I got the variety pack. They, the variety pack comes with six of them in four sizes. You have the extra small ones, the small ones, medium ones, and the large ones. Now, the, I've lost it again. The thing with the extra small one is it's a bit redundant, really, especially on elf brushes because the only ones they really fit on are the smudge brush, the tiny one, uh, the cons the angled brush, and the concealer brush, but. The main use of the brush guard is to keep the bristles in shape and on these ones you don't really need to keep the bristles in shape because they're so small it's not easy to bend them out of shape. But I'll just show you quickly how they work. So you get the brush guard and you get the brush, you put the brush guard on the end and you just slide it up. And even the small one is a tiny bit big, so I really wouldn't bother using a brush guard for any of the small ones. Now, you can put the extra small one on uh, eyeshadow brushes. This one's one of the plain line, not the studio line version. I have mostly studio line brushes. Um, so you can put it on there, and it's a slightly better fit. Um, and the holes are slightly bigger so it will dry a tiny bit faster um, but you have to um, be careful not to crush the bristles too much um, now the small one also fits onto eyeshadow brushes um, and doesn't crush the bristles as much um, and they also fit on, the ones I have here are the angled contour brush and the normal contour brush which that one's slightly thicker than that one but it does go on perfectly and gives a very snug fit. Um, the medium Medium? Yeah, medium. Um, fits on. I have three here. I have the stuffable brush, which I love, the large complexion brush, and the blush brush. So, and this is the, the complexion brush, is the biggest one of those three. So I'll just show you how it works on that one. And see, that's perfect fit. Um, now I did try using the large one on this one as well because I was worried about crushing the bristles too much. Um, but if you try the large one, it's so loose, especially around the um, for all thing. Um, that it's not really useful. If you stood it up in a glass, it probably the hairs would poke back through. Um, and it says on the little instruction leaflet that you get with it, um, make sure it's snug around the furrow, not the bristles. So 
I would suggest using the medium size for that one. And the large ones you I use on my kabuki brushes, and I have two of them, but they're upstairs at the moment. Um, and that's the basic instruction video. Now, I wasn't originally planning to do a review on them because I thought when I bought them they'd be fabulous and they'd nothing, they'd be perfect, and I wouldn't need to do a review because there's so many reviews out there all singing their praises. But I tested them. Um, like wash my brushes and then put them put the uh, I use them on sh I, my eyeshadow brushes first and I use them on um, just Avon blendy big fluffy blendy brushes um, and I used because I have two of these brushes I used one with the extra small and one with the small there was no difference in the time it took to dry, but they took two days to dry. That's leaving on the, them on the kitchen windowsill just to dry. And I don't, I don't use my makeup brushes that often, but if I was um, like a professional makeup artist, it just wouldn't work really. Um, with the one, the brush that had the extra small was slightly nicer formed this the one who had the small one was still a bit it still had pokies and fraying hairs but I didn't mind that what I did mind was just the time it took to dry um, and I tried it again with think it was with this brush and this brush and I put them on my bedroom windowsill because I thought they might dry faster but they did they it took even longer it took four days and they still weren't dry properly now the leaflet you get with the brush guard says because these are like mesh that will let the air circulate but that's probably partly true, partly not true. Um, thing is, I live in England, where it's not very sunny at the moment, she says. But it wasn't sunny when I was drying these, so that didn't really help. Um, and my house isn't very warm. I'm a student, so I can't really afford to put the heating on very much. Um, but... I, whilst I wouldn't say don't buy them, um, the brush guards I mean, um, if you have a warm house and it's summer, it'll be fine. Um, but the only time I would use these, I would use them to reshape my brushes because I think they're very good at that. But um, I'd have to put them in a glass and put them outside um, because where it's dry and warm, like in the summer. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not saying don't buy them, I ju I'm just saying think, really. Um, I, I would advise getting the variety pack, which has all the different sizes, and then just testing them out on your brushes, and see how they dry in your house. Um, they probably dry quicker in my kitchen, because um, when everyone's cooking it gets warm, so yeah. So, yeah. That's all I have to say, really. Um, have fun with your brush guards, and I'll see you soon. Bye!